Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to configure storage pools and disk storage on Data Protection Manager 2016 step by step. So hope you guys uh, enjoyed my last video where I have show you how to install Data Protection Manager 2016. So Data Protection Manager uh, is a basically suit which can provide you data production uh, like backup solution and uh, for the all your application and windows platform uh, including like uh, virtual machines which is running on azure vmware or hyper-v so also this is a you can see application aware backup like for sql exchange sharepoint and file server so everything is there so just click uh, so let's check out what let's have an idea about my demo environment so in my demo environment i'm using two virtual machines the first virtual machine is win2k12 dc01 which is um, my domain controller here you can verify active directory and dns role is installed on this server you can see my domain controller name and domain name which is victorinfosol.com here my domain name victorinfosol.com and my machine name and the second machine is my dpm server which is scdpm01 which is installed with sc uh, data production manager you can see the data production manager 2016 is installed you can verify uh, you can view my last video where I have installed the data production manager now uh, this is freshly installed data production manager I have not uh, done any post configuration on any anything um, after the installation so this is a fresh installation of data production machine so the first task, uh, post installation task uh, which need to be done is configure your storage pool and disk I in data protection manager where the all backup is going to be stored so if you go to management here we have uh, disk storage and also you can see the libraries there like uh, library disk total libraries and also you can uh, register your server uh, to uh, backup the things on online on the Microsoft Azure so the first thing we need to add the disk storage if you go and click add we don't have any disk uh, available because if you go to disk management computer management then we can go to disk management disk management we don't have we have only one disk which is disk 0 on which we are running the operating system so 60 GB disk so to add the disk you require a local disk or the disk which is coming from any storage device like EMC or SAND device any SAND device so in my case I have configured um, the my DC1 as a domain as if uh, ISCC server which is providing two disk over the uh, IP IP uh, IP is, uh, on my DPM so to add this I want to go here and just go and initiate the ISKC initiator and this is giving the message like it will run automatically after reboot so yes I want to re restart every time so just wait for a second and then put the target server name in my case the domain control IP address is running the ISKC target so click on connect now you can see the our D win 2 k 12 DC 01 is connected so in your case you can go ahead and connect the connect like your storage uh, or sand device which is coming learns which is coming from any storage so here you can see the path is we have only two disks but we are able to see here four disks because it's not enabling the multi-pathing so to enable the multi-pathing we must enable the multipathing to enable the must multipathing we have to go and add role in feature next next and select the server click next and then we have to go to features under the features we have to select the uh, here multi multipathing io and click next and just click on install it will take us few seconds to get the installation done for multipathing and then we need to add the uh, do some configuration here and then we can we are able to see the changes uh, like providing the multipathing access to storage learns or devices so just wait for a second so now you can see the installation success click close and now if you go to tools you are able to see MPIO here click on it and now you can go ahead on um, click add button 
uh, on go to discovery multipathing and here we are using the ISKC which is uh, coming from our, our uh, 2012 server so add ISKC as support for ISKC devices click add and the, this will give you a warning a reboot is required to complete the operation reboot now yes go ahead and now it's rebooting the server after the machine rebooted it will um, uh, detect the multipathing system and will we are able to see only two two disks there in like our computer management and disks disk management so just wait for a few seconds here for the login screen so here we are plus control to tell log into server and wait for the server manager to open here it is and now if you go to tools and computer management on a desk you're able to see only two discs now so seems everything fine let's bring both the disk online now you can minimize this and go to file and storage services this is a new with Windows Server 2012 so go to storage pools and now you are able to see here the two disk which is 101 and if you go to ISK see if you can see the status is not connected just refresh it and now you can see the status is connected and it will give you the also the path or uh, server name initiator ID with it's connected so that's both are connected with the scdpm onevictorinfosolcom so good to know go here and now we have to go um, new storage pool right click and new storage pool so click next and type the pool name like dpm storage pool and click next now select the all available disk in my case I am going to use a two disk so total size capacity is given here click next and now create the storage pool so it will create a new storage pool for us so click on finish and now we have one storage pool here you can see the space is 20 GB is free capacity total and physical uh, uh, you can say the physical disk which is participating here so now we are good to go and create a virtual disk and if you go here now you, you are not be able to see any disk here because the disk is mounted in our storage pool so create a new disk click next and click next and type the name dpm disk 01 put the simple click next and go with the fixed size and maximum size capacity if you want to go with some like initial setting like 10 uh, whatever size you can go ahead so it's good to recommend it to use the maximum size click next and create so now you can see it's creating the new disk and the disk is created so everything seems good so fix size and here you can see the free byte zero because we have selected the maximum capacity so and now if you go here you can see that around 200 GB disk is there and our see like computer management so this is done and now we can go ahead and add this disk in DPM so yes I want to launch the DPM so under the system center 2016 uh, DPM administrator console go to management and add the storage click add and now you are able to see here this click add and now just go ahead and click ok so it will give you option 
you have selected the basic disk DPM will convert to dynamic yes this is basic requirement so you can see now disk is basic and it will convert to dynamic and go to go so adding disk to storage pool and now you are able to see here the disk is added and now you can see also total capacity and unused it's 100% unused because it's the free disk and here you can also verify that 2.04 MB is used and almost 100% free so now if you go here you can see the disk is converted to dynamic and now once you initiate any backup to this disk this disk will create automatically few partition which is managed by data production manager only so we are good to go and the disk is added successfully so thank you f thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye